hello and welcome back to this month's family fun kits in july we're going to be making a bunch of different types of bird feeders we're actually going to be making three types of bird feeders that then you can use to feed the birds in your neighborhood everything you'll need that i'll talk about in this video should be included in your kit and if you need an item from home i'll be sure to let you know so here's what should be in your kit You should get a plastic water bottle, two wooden spoons, some popsicle sticks, a pine cone, an instruction packet that should have instructions for the three types of bird feeders that we're going to be making today and of course, bird seed. Now yours will not be in a big bag like this. This bag, you'll, of course yours will not be in a big bag like this, but you'll get a smaller bag with bird seed that you can then use in all of your bird feeders. All right, I'll go through and show you how to make each of the three types of bird feeders. Let's get started. Let's make the water bottle feeder. So you're going to need something to poke holes in your water bottle. This is how we'll insert in the wooden spoon so they become perches for the bird. So I'm gonna use some scissors. You can also use a knife, but anything that will poke through the plastic, be very sure to make sure that you have a grown up with you or someone who will make sure not to stick your fingers. So you're gonna poke all the way through. And then you have two spoons, so you'll need two sets of holes. Again, be very careful. Safety first. Alright, so you have your sets of holes. Now you're going to insert in your spoons. So you may have to make the holes a little bit bigger so your spoon can get through. Go. Got one set of perch for our birds. Now that you have your spoons in, the birds are gonna perch and this is how they're gonna try to get to the bird feed. So make sure you have a little bit of a hole above your spoons so the bird seed can fall out. So I'm just gonna make sure to cut mine a little bit more so the birds can definitely access that good bird seed. Again, please be very careful. Alright, that is your water bottle feeder actually all done. Now you just have to add in your bird seed. Another item that you might need from home to help out would be a funnel. So that's what I'm going to use. Then I'll pour in some bird seed. This part, as you can tell, might get a little messy. <laughs> so go ahead and fill up your water bottle with as much bird seed as you would like it should at least be as tall as the highest perch for your birds. And that's how you make the bottle bird feeder. Next we'll make our popsicle stick feeder. So you have your popsicle sticks here and to start out you're going to take six and lay them alongside each other. I'm going to use a rainbow pattern but you can of course use whatever pattern that you would like. 
So this is going to be your base. Now you're going to take two other sticks, again, any colors you want, and you're going to glue them on either side. So you're gonna take some glue and you will glue your popsicle sticks together. I'm not gonna glue them in this video just so you all can reuse these popsicle sticks. So once you have that, then you're gonna keep building up your birdhouse, your bird feeder, <laughs> sorry. So you lay two more down. Again, glue on the four corners so they stick together. And this is the point where you can also add a perch. So if you, we already kind of have perches here, but if you wanna add another perch in the middle for your bird, this is when you could add that step. And then you're just gonna keep going with the popsicle sticks that you have and alternate how you lay them down. So you'll lay some one way and then make sure you lay them the other way. It doesn't really matter which ones you lay um, horizontal or vertical except for those initial ones which you'll want to hold your base together. And you'll just keep going to build up, oops, <laughs> you'll just keep going to build up your bird feeder. So again, I'm not gluing as I go, but you will want to, to hold it all together. I'm just doing this for now so that I can reuse these popsicle sticks later. Any type of glue should work, um, but if not, if it's not staying well for you, then try switching over to hot glue. And that is about how your bird feeder should look when you're done. So this is where you will pour in your bird feed. And because there will be some space on the edges, it might be best to do this one outside when you first pour it in. So this will be the tray and the birds can perch up here. They could perch along the sides. And then they can have some of the bird feed that you give them. If you want to hang this up, then tie it by looping strings in the corners and then you can tie it all together and hang it outside. So that is our popsicle stick bird feeder. The pine cone bird feeder, which you'll see instructions for, is going to be the simplest of all of them. So I will talk you through it, but I don't have my peanut butter at the moment to demonstrate. So I will insert a picture into the video so you'll know what the final product looks like. So this one is super, super simple. You'll take your pine cone. It's best if it faces up like this, so there's a little shelf. And then you're gonna take some peanut butter or lard if you have a peanut allergy, and you're gonna spread it all over your pine cone. Then you can have your bird seed. You can either roll the pine cone in the bird seed, or you can sprinkle it on top. So that one is fairly straightforward and will make another great bird feeder. You can tie some string around the top to hang it or set it out in your backyard for then the birds to enjoy. Thanks for watching this month's video on different bird feeders. We think it goes along great with our Tales and Tales theme for the summer reading program. Be sure to keep logging the days you're reading into Beanstack so you can win free books and prizes. You can pick up kits starting every Tuesday at the library. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy reading! Bye!